glitter fairy, she flits and flies all around her believer. Now flitter fairies come from the realm slightly above time, and in their realm above time, they don't need pixie silk to fly. But here, in our realm, the human realm of timefulness, they need two things to fly. They need unseen pixie silk, and they need to bond themselves with a believer, like me. See, she gave me an enchanted hair clip, and she has an enchanted hair clip in her hair, and in between the two enchanted hair clips is unseen pixie silk. It's there, you just can't see it. When I take her out of my hair, she also still has that enchanted hair clip in her hair. And in between the two is the unseen pixie silk. It's woven so thin by the shadow fairies, you can hardly even tell it's there. But it is. See? Well, let me introduce you to Daria. She's going to show us another fun thing about flitter fairies. Now, flitter fairies are really smart. They know when they're supposed to rest, and they know when they're supposed to fly. Here, when she's leaning back, she's in resting pose. But when she leans forward, she flitters back, and she rests again. Now, if you want her to sleep, not just rest, you could turn the switch on the back of her leg down to the off position. By now, you're probably wondering how the pixie silk actually connects to the enchanted hair clips. So here's what you do. Remove the pixie silk tray from the packaging. Then, remove the back of the packaging to this drawing that says the glass corridor and remove it here at the perforations. Punch it out until it looks like this. Now take the sticky blue silk seed that's in the center part of the pixie silk tray and place it on the back side of your hair clip holder. This is going to stick against your wall. Now take your pixie silk tray with a post down and grab the sticky blue silk seed and let the pixie silk hang freely. Now you want to remove the sticky blue silk seed from the top and set your pixie silk tray down while holding the piece of silk. Now remember, pixie silk is very fragile, so treat it gently and try not to break it. Now take your enchanted hair clip and remove the flower from the center and place the top blue silk seed inside towards one of the sides of the flower. Now take your flower and with the post put it inside and click. Open your hair clip, place it on the hair clip holder, snap it in place and your pixie silk will hang all the way down to the silk seed. Let me introduce you to Eva. She's going to help us with the next step. Take your flitter fairy Remove her hair clip and go towards your hair clip holder. Take the hanging silk seat, place it in the back side of her hair, press it in, allowing the pixie silk to run right between the two posts. Replace her hair clip into her hair and then reach up, grab your hair clip. She's ready to fly. Now make sure her wings are folded back slightly. She flitters better this way. Let me show you a few ways that your fairy likes to fly and dance with you. First, you take your enchanted hair clip and you place it into your hair while she's connected to her enchanted hair clip. Then you take your wand and place it underneath the unseen pixie silk, allowing the pixie silk to run along the smooth edge of the wand. You want to take care not to let it slip into the star or the bell or it'll tangle. Then go away and towards your body. Away and towards your body. Always changing the distance between the wand and the fairy. That's how she looks best. Now the key is to go slowly back and forth. Slowly back and forth. If she goes quickly like this, she gets really dizzy. Now move your hand in long, slow circles, letting her fly around in a circle. You can also take the wand out from underneath the pixie silk, lean your body forward, and just let her fly freely, swaying back and forth. 
She's a really good flyer, so there's not much that you have to do other than to do long and slow rhythmic movements, coaxing her with your wand and your hand. She also likes to fly all the way around you, so just let her spin. See how she flies in the same direction? To take her off your hand, place tension on her silk with the wand and gently tip her forward until she flutters while your other hand drops below. To land her in your hand, place tension on the line and then scoop her from behind grabbing one of her swallowtails with your thumb. You're going to scoop her from behind grabbing one of her swallowtails with your thumb. Now when it's time for Eva to sleep at night, you can clip the hair clip back on the holder, unclip Eva's hair clip, undo the silk seed, let it hang or stick it toward the wall, and Eva can rest for the night. Here's a hint. In order to keep your pixie silk unseen, fly your fairy against dark patterned clothing, not necessarily black like mine, but just dark, and away from bright lights and that will keep your pixie silk nearly invisible. A quick tip about pixie silk. Always try to keep it taut, straight, with tension. This will help keep it from tangling in the fairy's wings and dress. She gets very irritated when that happens. Now if it should happen, which it will, take a white piece of paper, and all of a sudden the unseen pixie silk becomes visible, and it'll help you to untangle it from her dress. Now that your Flitter Fairy has bonded to you, her believer, let your flying adventures begin.